So today I figured I'd show off some of my coin collections here. So I've got a state quarters map and I've got a national park quarters map here. And they're both completed. They've been completed for years. Or this one hasn't. I just completed this one. But I think my parents actually started this one like years ago. Yeah. They completed it themselves. So... that one they gave it to me but yeah it's got some pretty neat ones in there and that's my national park one there's my home state right there yeah it just kind of tells about it all there you know and close these up and I keep them down there so my other coin collection that I may show either in this video or a future video it's right here and it's a little bit over 10 years old now so this right here Abraham Lincoln cents this one is grossly incomplete but oddly enough I have some of the rarer ones so missing a lot still but this is a vdb 1909 penny you can see the vdb there a little bit but it's kind of kind of hard to see it's a bit grainy because it's dark anyways maybe if i did that you could see it yeah you can kind of see it like that but you know, wheat pennies, World War II. These are the nicest steel scents I have right here. These are like the most crisp ones I own. Cartridge case scents. You got Bicentennial Plain. You got those. Those are all Denver mints. You got the Union scent. These here, of course, two proof ones as well check that out san francisco mint proof i think all proofs are san francisco mint but don't quote me on that but i don't know i don't remember it's it's been a few years you know but i kind of got back into it here recently dealing with money and stuff but these are my foreign coins uh this right here, my parents got in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, it's a 1924 bus token. And it's like a rapid transit bus token. And I think it was when dad was on R&R &R back in like 1970 or 1969, one or the other. It was either before, or it, it was either before dad went to Vietnam or after, but uh, they went to Hawaii on a little, you know, vacation thingamajig, and uh, they just kind of kept that. But there's Netherlands Penny, Bahamas Penny, Nicaragua Cordoba, Belgium Belgi. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, Argentinian Five Centavos. There's three of those Five Centavos things. Oh, it's a Mexican. That's a, probably a Spanish word. Centavos. Uh, Portuguese. Mexican. Mexican. Italian. That's an old Italian coin. That's from 1941. Uh, that That's a Moroccan coin. 10 francs, but it's not actually from 1371. I think that's using the Julian calendar instead of the Gregorian or something along those lines. That's a German coin. Another germ that's a German Dutch mark. Uh, European Union two cent coin. I think that one's kind of weird. Some you know Canadian cents. Uh, Canadian dollar. Spanish thing or jigger. 
I can't figure out what that is because it's in, you know, it ain't in English letters, <laughs> so I can't even remotely look up what it says. <laughs> wheat pennies, all mint marks. So these are some of my wheat pennies. Um, I'm sorry, here's a 1929 I just found in pocket change a long time ago. It's a 1942, 56, 38, 1938, 41. I don't know, I have a few oldies in here. 51, 46, 53, 57. Uh, there was one I found that was like a 19... Yeah, this 1920 I found a couple days ago, actually. Check it out. See? And there's a 45. That's the year my dad was born. 35, 55, 51, 25. Is that actually... Yeah, that is a 1925. My God. Here's a 1776 commemorative quarters. So I got this whole thing worth of them. And they're all in decent condition. Uh, and you know, they got the whole thing on the back of them. Uh, I don't know what that is, but looks like paper. But yeah, it's got like that whole page of them. And then I've got this page of them here. My handwriting's garbage, and I'm aware of it. I don't ha I don't write with my hand very often, so I don't get a chance to sharpen it. But Westward Journey nickel, right here. As you got a whole line of the buffaloes, uh, the whole line of the peace medals where they're shaking hands on the Louisiana Purchase, a whole line of the Ocean View, and a whole line of the keel boats. And the only two that I can find in abundance are the American Bison and the Ocean and View ones, oddly enough. The other two I used to find all the time, but they're getting a bit harder to find, so I just have a page of the other two. But the Buffalo ones are the most common. You'd, you'd think those are the ones people would be hoarding, but I guess not. S-Mint er, Nickels. These are my three S-Mint Nickels that I found in pocket change. Some genius threw a friggin' proof S mint nickel in pocket change. And there's those two. I don't, those might have been proof at one time before they were friggin' circulated, but you know. Can't believe I found a circulated proof though. That's insane. Here's some S mint pennies. Uh, three 1969 S mint pennies. They might be a bit more common than some of the others. Here's just some old nickels. This is a nickel that belonged to my grandpa. I've got a buffalo nickel and the date's so worn out you can't tell what year it is, but 40, 43, 41, 49, 39. See, just have a few oldies, you know, ones I wanted to keep because they're aged up a bit. Pretty good, especially the buffalo nickel and my grandpa's coin. Those are nice. Odd US currency, we got a John Adams dollar that I found at a lake. It's a gold dollar. Or John Quincy Adams, at least. That's a John Adams dollar that I got out of a vending machine. Or like a change machine when I was working in a factory. Uh, they had this little change machine that dispensed like 